Welcome to Lingua Latina Tutorials with Mr. K. This is chapter 32, Grammatica Latina. Read through this section aloud, pronouncing everything in Latin, uh, paying special attention to good pronunciation for your endings, and then follow along as I come back and follow along as I translate. Uh, but I, before we do that, I want you to look in the margin <laughs> and make your flashcards for this these grammar points you've got the perfect subjunctive and so on one side of the card uh, for each conjugation you should make a card so on one side you'd write perfect subjunctive of recite to recite and on the back you will write out recitaverem recitaveris recitaverit recitaverimus recitaveritis recitaverint and the same thing for obey, etc. For these, all of these forms. Also, do this for the subjunctive, the perfect subjunctive of sum. So, on one side of the card, perfect subjunctive of sum. On the other side, fuerim, fueris, etc. Uh, do the same thing for the negative commands and all the forms you find in the margin. So, listen as I translate Latin grammar, the subjunctive, the perfect tense. Active. Julius doubts whether the teacher praised Marcus. Laudaverit is the subjunctive of the perfect passive, I mean the perfect past tense. Subjunctive, the subjunctive of the perfect ends in erit, third person singular, which is added to the infinitive, uh, of the, uh, the perfect infinitive without isse. Examples. Recitaverit. Uh, he so that he has recited, paruerit so that he has obeyed, scripturit so that he has written, audiurit so that he has heard. The father asks his son whether he was a good boy, uh, whether he obeyed his teacher, whether he listened carefully, whether he wrote um, correctly, and whether he recited beautifully. The father says, "Do you are you listening? I'm asking you." Here we have indirect questions, right? I'm asking you whether you were a good boy, whether you obeyed your teacher, whether you listened carefully, whether you wrote correctly and recited beautifully. The son says, I've already told you that I was uh, hardworking. Why, therefore, are you asking me whether I was a good boy, whether I obeyed the teacher, listened carefully, wrote correctly, and recited beautifully. Believe me, don't doubt my words. And here we have ne dubitaveris, the negative uh, form, the same as uh, noli, noli dubitare. Okay, the parents ask their sons whether they were good students, whether they obeyed the teacher, listened carefully, wrote correctly, and uh, recited beautifully. The parents, are you listening? We're asking you whether you were good students, whether you obeyed the teacher, whether you listened carefully, whether you wrote uh, correctly and recited beautifully. The sons, we already told you we were hardworking. Why, therefore, are you asking us whether we were good students, whether we obeyed the teacher, listened carefully, wrote correctly, and recited beautifully? Believe us. Don't doubt our words. So here we have our chart. You add erim, eris, erit, erimus, eritis, erint to the um, perfect stem. And um, it looks exactly like the future perfect, except for the future perfect here is ero. The passive. The father doubts whether his son was praised by the teacher. The father. Were you praised by the teacher? The son. I don't know whether I was praised. The father. How can't you know whether you were praised by the teacher? The son. I don't know what was said about me because I slept in school. And uh, the father doubts whether his sons were praised by the teacher. The father. Were you praised by the teacher? The sons. We don't know whether we were praised. The father. How don't you know that you were praised? The sons. We don't know what the teacher said for because we slept in school. Here we have the passive form of perfect subjunctive, laudatus sim, sis sit, simus citizent.